We are now going to uh, take a look at another property of the gyroscope, which uh, is very uh, crucial to its use in uh, space and aircraft, and that is the concept that's known as precession. That is to say that normally, if, uh, if you have an object like this that's not spinning or anything like that, and it's subject to the force of gravity, and I let it go, it just simply flops down. That's pretty reasonable. Uh, it just simply is affected by the force of gravity. However, when you spin the gyro up, as we will do here, and then you suspend it off to the side, instead of flopping down, what does it do? It moves at right angles at a, at a very constant rate. The right angle is called precession. That is to say, the force acting on the gyro does not move straight in the direction of the force, it moves at right angles. The rate at which it turns is directly proportional to the force of gravity. When you're in a spacecraft, in deep space, where there is no gravity or there is no, you don't feel the effects of gravity, that turning, that spinning, measures the force of the rocket engines. So it's a very precise way to know how much thrust you have and how much thrust you need to get to your destination. So this is a very, very important use of gyroscopes in spacecraft navigation.